Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Girlfriend Getaway, Girlfriends <laughs> Tell All. That's or right. Almost all. <laughs> yeah. We got to leave secrets yeah. we won't ever tell. We have to leave some things to the imagination, right? <laughs> Absolutely we do. We're not going to tell you everything. We had enough cameras around us. We're not going to tell you what happened when the wow. cameras were not on. Yeah, so it was a fun week. Uh, let's see, 31 counties in five, five days. days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Which was actually six days because we left on Sunday. This is true. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Technically. Is everybody recovered? I think so. Yes. Finally, yeah. Finally I really don't feel nauseous. Exactly. Uh -huh. I got my sea legs back. So yeah, the 31 counties aren't just random. Those are the 31 counties that we that get a color 10 signal. So um, here, the five of us ladies work for different shows here at Color 10. Um, I'm one of our morning daybreak anchors. Kaylee, you are work mornings as well. Mornings as well. Yeah, seven to nine. I'm afternoons on Ozarks Live, of course, so it was really a stretch for me to get up and <laughs> get makeup on and stuff that early. But, you know, I did it for the girlfriend. And you look great. You mean oh, you well, don't thanks. like the 5 a.m. wake-up call? Oh, uh, no. Not so much. Like, uh, no. Pretty common for me. I'm a daybreak meteorologist, so up early. And I'm kind of all over the place because I'm on Ozarks Fox AM, Ozarks Live, and then just random segments throughout the week, too. Yeah, but no matter what show we're on, we all kind of share the same great viewers, and it was so great to meet everyone, but that's where we were traveling was to see you guys and uh, to go to every single county that gets a color 10 signal. So it was super fun. And the fun part about it for us was we all work together in the same building, but not, as you just heard, not the same shift. So, I mean, yeah. Lauren and I work closely together, but we don't get to work with Joy. And we see Cammie sometimes. And uh -huh. so it was really cool because we all got to learn a lot about each other where otherwise we wouldn't have. I think that's a definite blessing of the whole yeah, week absolutely. was getting to know each other That better. was the best part about and it for me, too. And the crew guys we had. Yeah. Oh. so much fun, weren't yeah. they? Yes. I think we all were well together. Yes. It was a team effort mm -hmm. because a lot of things happened on this trip. As you probably, if you followed us on social, mm -hmm. you saw that a lot of things happened that um, we had to unplanned. sort of unplanned, <laughs> unplanned, reroute just a little bit. And so I think we worked together to sort of solve those problems mm -hmm. yeah. and, and make it work. So uh, we learned a lot, yes. a lot. A Should we lot. start from the beginning? Because problem number one began Monday morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Are we ready? Just of course about. we are. Of course we are. Yes, we were going to go to Haha ha Tonka State Park, and we realized, oh, the park actually doesn't open whenever we need to be live on TV, <laughs> and sometimes that happens. So we ended up going live from the hotel where we stayed the night before. Which happened to be a beautiful place it because was. they had a golf course, they had all kinds of recreation. We played volleyball. Yeah, we played volleyball. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a good. It was the first one where the bad was like, okay, this isn't really that bad. Yeah. It was a bad, Worked good. Out. It was a good trade off. Yeah. And one of our stops on Monday too was in Lebanon. And Joy, that was one of your favorite places where we stopped at the hatchery, right? That was one of my favorite stops, <laughs> the Cackle Hatchery. Oh, look, and he's like even sitting. He's just chilling. <laughs> And someone said, well, let's pull in here. And I mean, you see a storefront mm -hmm. and the word hatchery, and it's like, really? People just go <laughs> you know, shopping. These people ship out about 180,000 chickens a week, a week. All over the country. Do you no. want to come on the girlfriend getaway? Are you a boy? Do we have to check? And the cool part about that was, was that was one of the unplanned things. You know, we had, you know, behind the scenes, we were working for weeks on schedules of where we're going to go, what time we got to be there, what we're going to do in each county. This was weeks and months in the making of getting this plan down and that was a stop that was not planned we were just driving you saw a sign yeah. our tour manager we called him dave sees a yeah. sign is like hey yeah. let's stop here and that was one of the best random unplanned stops that we had so we pretty much we hit six counties a day more or less right on because average we had, yeah. right 31 counties in five days we had six counties a day but the fun and interesting and chaotic part about this was it was hard to get all five of us in all of the places that we had just because that's a lot of ground to cover in a little time so we had to do some we had a trail car it was just a, a second car that our, i'm going to keep calling him tour manager dave bowen i like it really really sure. sign off on he's that he's earned that title yeah. yeah where he would be like okay group a go here group b go here mm -hmm. in two different cars so we could cover our ground because Man, we squeezed a lot into one day. Yes. We did. Teaming. And part of what our viewers may not realize is that the reason we were on the time schedule is because of 
television hits, right. oh, yeah. live TV right. hits. So we have the morning show, Fox, Fox AM, AM, midday, Ozarks Live, and then 5 o'clock. Yes. Well, you have to get to your location. And then so much driving, and yeah. they weren't next to each other necessarily. Oh, no. Yes. It was like <laughs> two hours in between two live shot locations mm -hmm. sometimes. So that's where the splitting up came in. One of our uh, sponsors, of course, was McDonald's, and which McDonald's is super helpful to have on the road. We all know. You know, you need a tea, you need some ice cream, you need to pee, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> and, you know, you, you, we, you stop at a lot of them, but we did go all around and kind of, yeah, coffee for the morning. <laughs> Very much necessary. Yes. Lauren and I are going to chug coffee, chug, 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 need some caffeine. That will help us get to the next six counties that we have to get through today. We won't worry about it. Here, who needs a right. hairbrush? I mean, really, who needs a hairbrush? <laughs> I want to say, even though there were a few places we went to that were unplanned, there were a few places we couldn't go to that were not part of the plan that we meant to make it to. Like the Frog Rock was on our itinerary yes. for day one, but it was raining. I remember getting in the RV Sunday night and looking at the weather and being like, okay, there's a chance of rain Monday through Friday. So, <laughs> but I feel like Monday it kind of dampened our spirits a little bit because yeah. we couldn't see Frog Rock. Well, our girlfriend get away just fell a little soggy. Yes, and cold. It doesn't feel like summer up here. It doesn't. Yeah. Oh, it what? what are you guys doing? At first, the clock was too loud. So I had to take out the battery. She takes care of business. Let me tell you, I just was annoyed by it. She fixed it for me. Ain't nobody got time for a loud clock. Also, you can get clock silencers on eBay for like a buck fifty. I'm wondering if I should go up and tell them that their clock is no longer working. <laughs> we don't know what happened. It just <laughs> fell off the wall. We pull up to Rolla and I pile out of the RV with Chico, you know, our little team dog that we took our along. Our mascot. We're all ready to sleep. Our little yes. mascot who will not come out from under the bed. He's scared to death I'm going to put him back in an RV. He's still asleep. But um, I, I get out and all of a sudden someone comes out and says, you can't take the dog in the hotel. I'm so sorry. They don't allow pets. And I'm like, well, too bad for me. I don't really want to sleep in the RV. So anyway, we had to, I had to expedia my way to greatness and find another hotel down the street. How was your night? Good. Yeah? Did you sleep well? Yeah? Yeah. Did you wake up super early? Yeah. <laughs> Can't help it? I haven't had coffee yet. Uh-oh. Are you gonna fix that? <laughs> Do you have any injectable like adrenaline? What is that? What are you saying? <laughs> Do you just like IV adrenaline? Yeah, I brought some. Good. Thank you. <laughs> I thought you were like caffeine pills. Oh, I'm like, I didn't put it in. Those I know about. <laughs> A girlfriend getaway that's happening right now. Of course, for the ladies, it means longer days and it means they can sleep in more, apparently. Here's the RV right now, and we're trying to see if we can get them going this morning because they're in Salem, Missouri. Busy day ahead for the ladies as they're going to check out the courthouse and stuff. I honestly am trying to figure out what's happening here. Is anyone around here? Do we have Lauren and Elisa or Cammie or Kaylee or Joy? We'll take anyone right now. Who's awake? Anyone at the moment? Is anyone there? No, apparently not. I see a hand waving and I see a one minute sign. Someone's not ready. All right. What are we about to do here? All right. Uh, well, hey, Salem, Missouri's locked. Good morning. Locked. Oh, Good morning. There. We're home. We're Look home. who's Good here. We, we just needed a few minutes. Sorry we about heard, that, guys. No, we heard you screaming from here. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, we oversleep. Joe calls us and says, wake up, wake up, wake up. So it's no different on the road. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a surprise um, I have a loud we voice, just got guys. To Salem. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not surprised at all. We just got to Salem. The truck literally 
just pulled up and uh, we're outside the Salem Courthouse. So we're going to take you around and show you where we literally again just pulled up. Joy is giving Chico a little potty time over there because we just <laughs> got out of the car from this morning. This is the courthouse here at Salem. Yeah. Okay. Hey there. We are near Plato, Missouri at the Population hey. Center of the United States. Mm -hmm. So Apparently, if you put every one of us, hang on, I've got the dog here. here. Hang on just a second. She she the dog. Oh if you put everybody in the country on a piece of paper, right? Yep. And we were all up here, and you put a little pin underneath it, it would balance perfectly right, right here, here <laughs> near Plato, Missouri. Yeah. You're the scientist. Did I explain that well or yeah. not? Yeah, and I, what's been pretty cool about this, if you want to take Chico back, I've got a got list. It. What we lacked in dinner the night before, I think we got in protein unintentionally uh, while we uh -huh. were there. The thing the about bugs. Missouri, rural Missouri, is there are a lot of bugs here. Gnats so, yeah, yes. gnats everywhere. The gnats were so You'll probably thick. see this in a lot of our shots. We're like, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. gnats were thick. So, you swallow some, you get them up your nose. You get them in your eyelashes. In my it's eyes. not pretty. <coughs> Having troubles? There's bugs everywhere. <laughs> is this uh, a little different than what you're used to? I hate bugs, all of them. See? But they seem to like you so much. We're going to swallow 20 by the end of the day. <laughs> what do you have against bugs? All of it. They're gross. <laughs> and the Alley Spring Mill is probably my favorite stop. We just learned so much history, so much science. It was truly, really cool, and I'd never seen anything like it. Did you try it? But I definitely ate 45 bugs in the couple, we were there for like, what, 45 minutes? I swear, yeah, it was, she there were so it. many she bugs. Okay, I can talk about eminence because I had literally a life-changing lunch <laughs> in eminence. I remember that. Because the bugs were I don't enough, think, I right? don't think you'll ever stop talking about that BLT. <laughs> no, I was going to say, I think I could tell you what Joy had for lunch. Yeah. It was a BLT on Texas toast with fried okra. Uh-huh. At a girl, you remembered. <laughs> at it, the Dairy Shack. Well, we pull up to this place that looks for all the world like it's going to be fabulous, and it's closed. A couple of viewers showed up, though, and that was fun. Remember the two women that showed up, and we, yes, we talked to them for a little bit? Yeah. Um, so the Dairy Shack people said, no, 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 we'll cook for you. It's fine. So some of this is where we split. Some of us stayed, and didn't you? Did we you? Had a, we had a midday time. live shot. We were like, who has time to eat right now? What are I you do. doing with this BLT? <laughs> so me and Lauren were like, ain't nobody got time to eat right now. The midday is calling our name. And we had to shoot into the next county. It was like almost, what, Houston. 45 minutes away? Yeah. Uh, we had the midday live shot. So we were like, ladies, did you pack up some lunch for us? Or we'll meet you at the next stop. So that's yeah. we, so we, we did this pack up lunch. We just ate it ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too bad that about it. was delicious. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, it, uh, too bad about you all. You missed out. Um, I... I just looked at the menu, which was vast, uh -huh. and I thought, you know, a big old BLT sounds good. I didn't know it was going to be that big. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, oh, look at all the sides, fried okra, hello, oh. and a great big iced tea. And I mean, I, I think I took uh, several pictures of mm -hmm. it, tweeted it, I love the place, Dairy Shack it was called, yes? Mm -hmm. And then you had this, Kaylee has this monstrous ice cream, the avalanche. Guess what size that was? The small one. A small. No. <laughs> and it was, was this small? big. What was yeah. that? A milkshake? I saw yeah. that picture. It was literally yeah. bigger like than your mixed head. Toppings, yeah. you it was know, like, like a huge. concrete kind of thing. Uh -huh. They do yeah. everything right there. It was they delicious. Do, yeah. So, um, yeah, that was one of my most memorable moments. I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the food. I always True remember. True foodie. Food. You bet I am. Mm -hmm. We ended up doing some horseback oh, riding yeah, at the Missouri right. Fox Trotters, mm -hmm. and they were super sweet. We got there, and they're like, well, we want to teach one of you how to ride a horse, but just one of you. And Elisa and I looked at each other, and we're like, oh. <laughs> I was like, what cute? Hmm. Who's there was a fist fight down? over it that you did not see on air. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't tell you everything. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We, we said to them, we're like, oh, can't we just both like do a quick 
little lap. So that's what we did. Oh, we good. both oh. did a quick yeah. lap. And but sorry to say, if there were five of us, it probably wouldn't oh, have been the same story. So a yeah. brawl. Yeah, all of <laughs> not just a fist fight. Dirty ground. Yeah, it would have been great. <laughs> um, so then, I guess it was Ava. I believe it must have been Ava where the McDonald's was. Probably. We that did a little swing right. over there, yes. and then we came back to Mansfield to the Laura Ingalls Wilder House, mm -hmm. which, true confessions, I had never been there. It's ridiculous that I've lived in this state this long and this, you know, worked in this market this long and I haven't been there. And I also was not a viewer of Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> Girlfriend, I, girlfriends tell all. I know. <laughs> I have never, to my recollection, seen Little House on the Prairie. Well, we're getting the tour, and that's the, why the we go to learn. Tour right? Lady was like, yeah. "Well, this is the clock, like the clock," and Joy's like, the "Christmas clock." <laughs> Which actually, I've seen it, and I've been there, and I don't remember the clock either. But that's you know, it's just a small detail. But well, apparently, a, if you're a real yeah. um, fan, you would know what the Christmas clock is. Yeah, and it's it's really really cool, yeah. very interesting, and it's mm -hmm. so well maintained. Some of our live capabilities were on the RV with you ladies. Our which was like two hours away right an hour away so right. we were like well what are we going to do we need to be live for the five o'clock show we have to figure something out hello 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 well we're here in beautiful west plains as you can see there's the courthouse over there and uh i wanted to mention that we have a when you see us on the road this week we have a girlfriend's getaway rv it's a beautiful rv huge faces with pictures of joy and the other ladies on the side beautifully done can't miss it it's a huge thing it's it's, I don't know, it's probably 30 feet long and probably 15 foot tall with uh, a V10 engine. It's, it's just a monstrous thing and we don't know where it is. If you do see it, if you do see it, would you have them call Dave Bowen in West Plains because you can't miss it, but we lost it. I don't really know where it is. I'm gonna walk up the corner and see if I can come up, wave them down or something. We really have lost them for about an hour and a half. So we ended up using Skype as a backup plan, and we had one of the guys on the trip hold it up on his phone, and we Skyped from the murals in West Plains. Okay, so Norfolk Lake was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That evening, mm -hmm. the sunset over that oh, lake oh, yeah. Yeah. Good pictures was so stunning. Cool. But pr a little bit prior to the sunset, we wind up at the Norfolk Lake Ozark Mountain Lodge, I believe it was mm -hmm. called, yes? Yeah. Yes. And we each have our own cabin mm -hmm. to stay in, you know. Which were they, huge, by the way. Yeah, yeah. They were we like could have sleep six people. We could have had a party beds. in there. Yeah. We, we all should have slept in one. <laughs> That's what we, we should have done. We yeah. really could have. But yeah. anyway, we weren't sure where to go. And so to get to the office, and we weren't sure where it was, we went around this one big <laughs> long road. And because I'm an engineer in my spare time, <laughs> I managed to help us get the RV through a very tight spot. There was a trailer. Remember the little trailer? Oh, yes. I remember. Parked in the road. Mm -hmm. And I got out and looked, and I promise you, we had about this much space. Now, we have woods on both sides also of that yeah. little road, so it's not like you can kind of get off the trail. Uh -huh. Right, you There's can't. like large trees in the right. way. There's, there's no ditch. <laughs> so, well, Joy, if we had this much space, we used about this much. <laughs> well, fortunately, the little trailer had a license plate sticking out, and I am so sorry, trailer owner, whoever you are, <laughs> but I bent that license plate. Did you really? And it, you didn't see that. No. I'm oh, telling yeah. you, that I'm an engineer in my spare through. time. Bent yeah. it. The RV went through with about that much room. I kid you not. Mm -hmm. And then when the RV made it through, I bent it back. So again, sorry. <laughs> sorry to the trailer gods, but it had to happen. And it's and a license plate. That's metal. How does it... I see it. Don't tell anybody. Come here. Keep this between you and me. There, I fixed it. Okay. The owners at the lodges were 
sweet the first night and then they continued to be looking out for us because the next day they knew that we were going down for a live shot at the lake. So we get there, we get all set up and we're like, wait a minute, we don't know how we're going to get out of here because it was, the water was so high from all the flooding this spring that it was just a little dirt road. The road One went. lane too, this tiny, tiny dirt road too. It With went our huge right RV. into the lake. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think that road is supposed to loop around, but because it's so high, that whole section of the loop was underwater. It just so. drove straight into the waterfront. <laughs> and again, like, we were like, oh, I guess we're trees. here. That's where we're going to The lake at, is at the tires, okay? <laughs> and again, trees on both sides. So it's not like you can turn around in an RV. So it was like we were going to have to back out, but we just went ahead and stopped, got out. You guys did your live shot. It was beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it was really pretty, actually. It was beautiful. It was, but how long do you think it took us to back out of that one-way road. I mean, at least 30 minutes. Well, we have Tony, our digital producer, super talented at driving that RV. Yeah. I don't know how, to this day, how no, he I'm got that out. Who was out? You were, were you directing him? Well, the best part about it was Jeremiah. Yeah, so Jeremiah. Another videographer that went with us out there, and I have video of this on my to phone. Love, <laughs> to he's love, trying to, to back right. up, but he's doing this because of the bugs. So it's like, do I take the RV this way or so is that a bug? It's like you know? air traffic control. Literally. Literally. And <laughs> bugs. <laughs> Next time we need those those like uh the, yeah the yellow oh, like yes. if yes. the bug zappers that would be even better yeah <laughs> but it was one of those funny moments and he was this way this way and tony's you know and it took probably half an hour yeah, yeah. we did it we got out but that you know that delayed us we got out but then we went back to the lodge and told them what happened and they said i put a note on your uh, windshield saying not to go down there because the water was up about 20 feet and you wouldn't be able to get out. When did you put it there? Uh, last night at about 11.30, but then it rained. I put my phone number, but if you can't read it. <laughs> this note got all wet, crumbly, and then our windshield wipers just Took pushed it, it right off. And no, we did not see the note. That we was an adventure, for it. sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then the adventure continued because we picked up this random guitarist <laughs> on the road. <laughs> Our hitchhiker. Singing a sad song yeah. on the yeah. side of the highway. Just walking. Yep, so Jamie Hagee from Branson, who's a singer and entertainer and comedian, and he really livened up our day, didn't he? What, am I in some kind of trouble? No. What are you doing? What are you huh? doing? Uh, my pacer broke down last night. I've been walking all night long. You know how much trouble it is to get a carburetor for a 76 pacer in the middle of Arkansas at, after midnight? You've been walking from where? Yeah. yeah. I was uh, down to Yaleville. Where? Yale where are you from? I'm from Branson, actually. Trying to get back I'm home. Branson! Oh, wait a minute. I know you. <laughs> I knew you looked familiar. You're, um, Yakov Smirnoff. Yes! <laughs> well. No, no, no. I'm Clay Cooper. Clay Cooper. Oh, I'm Clay, yeah, you're Clay Cooper. I'm Clay, Clay Cooper after taxes. <laughs> Mike Patrick? Mike Patrick. Uh, no, no. You're, are you the guy with the tiger? No. Oh, magic? I can't you're believe magic. it. I'm Jamie Hagee. I'm on television. Oh, Jamie oh, Hagee. Oh, We're on television, too. You're on I really? Yeah. I wish I had a TV so, now. Do you have a driver's license? I do. Can you drive one of these things? Always wanted to try. Do you, do you like dogs? Sure. Oh, well, I got no real. He embraced being the boyfriend of the girlfriends, you know, the <laughs> guy did. around with us through the yeah. day. And we had some a song with too. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful song. The girlfriend's back. Drive RVs. He also plays music. Jamie Hagee, play us some music at the Ozark Cafe. Thank you, Joy. I appreciate that. I got to start by saying it's an honor to play this instrument. Let me explain this. This is a very historical guitar. It uh, was one of the guitars played by uh, Marty Robbins on the Grand Ole Opry many years ago. It was made in the 1920s back in the mountains of West Virginia. So it's a very historical, valuable instrument, and they're loaning it to me today, and I appreciate that. And I also got to say this. My girlfriends are here, and I've rewritten a song for you girls today in honor of, of the girlfriends. All right, the old uh, song, uh, My Boyfriend's Back. You remember that? Remember that song? So clap and do the things that you need to do in there to help me out with this. So this is, Go for it. this is for the girlfriends here. The girlfriend. 
friends are here and it's not boring. Hey, now all our girlfriends back. Joy and Cammie and Kaylee and Lauren. Come on now. Lisa is cleaning something dirty off her shoe. Hey. <laughs> Yellville, Harrison, Jasper, too. Hey, la, hey, la, that's for my girlfriends. While we got out of the RV, though, to pick up Jamie, who we literally picked up from the side of the road, Elisa, you stepped in something that, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we got pleasant. back in the RV and we're all like, what is that smell? Yeah, is we're that blaming Chico, Chico at yeah, this we're point? Like, Chico, Chico, did you do something you weren't supposed to do? <laughs> no, or did it you was go just potty her. somewhere? <laughs> and then we're like looking and, and yeah. So what was interesting about those poop on my shoes was it wasn't just like on the bottom of your shoe, just like when you just regularly step in some dog poop. It it was like on the side of my shoe up and then leg? coming up my ankle. Mm -hmm. So I swear <laughs> there was an elephant that took a poop on the side of the road in Arkansas <laughs> because this thing must have been huge for it to be not on the bottom of my shoe, but on the side of my shoe and coming up my sock and up my ankle. And like, they were white shoes. I know. Yes. I can't. Only in Arkansas, right? <laughs> it's just huge. Is it on my shorts? Yeah. yeah, and that the too. RV just hang, hung on to that smell for like a while. Hey, no, I did good with the wipes. I wiped no, a lot you did, but it was like in the air at that point. You I'll know? never forget you sitting on the step of the RV though, trying your best to get the poop <laughs> to go away, and you did it. I did. It I took did. a while. I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah, I did pretty good. And after that, we went to Devito's Trout Restaurant, and that was the most food we ate all week. We ate in like oh one setting. Goodness. Oh, so we, much. We went fishing. I don't really know how to do this. Or she has a bobber with no weight. Okay. So what, yeah, what happens now? Oh. Okay. I was wondering if there was a righty and a lefty pole. Okay. <laughs> ah. Again? Yes. Well, well, that was first fishing of the week, wasn't it? Yeah, we went fishing the next after that. morning after that. Yeah, yeah. so we, we fished for trout, and then they took it literally across the street and cooked it for us, and then kept bringing more food. And it was Italian food, not just fish. And so just plate after plate mm -hmm. after plate. And it was, was like a 10-foot table <laughs> yes. filled with food. And yeah. not all of it even fit on the food, because I know there's still some trout behind us on yeah. <laughs> another it, table yeah. waiting for it us. It was delicious. So he said mm -hmm. he makes everything homemade right so the mm -hmm. the trout is so fresh because you're getting it in the little creek that's across the street right fishing mm -hmm. it yourself and then you go across the street to the restaurant and he has italian food like raviolis made seven italian different ways. bread yeah mm -hmm. italian bread and he said everything is made from scratch except for the iced tea uh, at least at the very end there she's standing up yeah, we were trying to catch it all for live for our midday show, which is at 11 a.m. Yeah. And of all the cell phone reception issues that we had, this was the one live shot all week that would not work for us. And so Elisa and I are standing on this bridge with our fishing poles moving two inches this way, two inches that way, trying to yeah. listen to our directors here back at the station like, okay, we have a little bit of a signal. Nope, we lost you. We, and it just didn't work out. Okay, so we, t we took the winding Highway 7 to Jasper. With your help, of course. Well, I, I told our she driver. She warned everyone. Well, I did. I said, you know, if the sign says go 25, please go 25. Yeah. Because if or you tumble over the sign. Or right? less, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, Jasper was so much fun. The Ozark Cafe and the people who own it were terrific. Mm -hmm. um, they welcomed us with open arms. We went in. They had all this food ready mm -hmm. to show off on TV. Mm -hmm. And that was the single most frustrating live shot I had because I learned that AT&T almost does not get out of Jasper, mm -hmm. in or out at all. Eventually we did. Um, mm -hmm. And the people at the cafe were great. They had all sorts of food for us to, uh, to try and to mm -hmm. talk about. And the owners were terrific and it's just a beautiful place. And then by the end of the live shot, it was time for Jamie on the stage to sing. Mm -hmm. And he said a few words about his guitar and the history behind the guitar. And then the shot went away. So this is this is for the girlfriends here. The girl. 
Oh no! Oh no! What happened? What? Well, I wanted to hear that. Oh, right when he started the song. Uh, my girl. My, uh, my, my, my girlfriend's back and you're gonna be in trouble. Hey, love, hey, love, my girlfriend's back. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm all the timing for that to freeze right when he started. The that is crazy. Okay, all right. Anyway, that was so much fun. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Two bars in, I hear J uh, Jeremy and Kelly go, oh. oh. And I went, that's oh. not a good sound. Oh, no, no. no. Oh. And so I knew at that point we had lost the shot. So apparently they picked it up. Little did we know that would be the least traumatic experience that was about to happen to us, though, because we go back out to the RV and we're packing up to go and we have to say goodbye to Jamie because he actually had a show in Branson that night. Yeah. So we're like, okay, we thank you so much, but you need to go. And so he's leaving and he is backing up and we're like, oh no, there's a he guitar. Left guitar right he left by his the guitar tire. on the road and they back up over it. And you hear, and we're all smash. Going, no, because we see this in slow motion, just yeah. like playing out, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Yeah, car tires right over the guitar. Freaked us out for a 30 minute. minutes to show. We're like, oh no, he has a concert tonight. And after he had said guitar. how special this guitar yeah. is, and where he got it, original, yeah. I think it was. Yeah, it was horrifying yeah. to see it, and then almost immediately I said, you know what? Okay. <laughs> what was he doing it. there? Yeah. My name is Tony Wynn, and this is the breakable guitar. That'll be tough to break. That's. Are you rolling? I'm rolling. All right, I'm gonna start rolling, and here we go. Why would you have your guitar behind the tire? <laughs> exactly. I mean, it was like no it down sense. on the street. That was a moment, though. Man, who? Yeah. That was, yeah. They got we me. We were panicked. That was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> for a second, they got me. So we pack up for the night and we end the night in Eureka Springs at these little treehouse lodges that were so cute. They all so had their adorable. own color scheme on the outside, on the inside. MTV Cribs, go. I was just about to say, <laughs> welcome to my crib. Um, Okay, so this is probably the coolest place by far that we're staying at. Beautiful florals. It was, they're really cute. Um, we had some, as usual, RV issues again. Where do we park the RV? And there was, they owned an ice cream shop, right? They were viewers of Color well, 10. So we, we pulled up and we're like, oh, finally some relief to this long day. Wait a minute. The gates to get over the bridge and into the place where we're staying are closed. So we end up calling the people that own the tree houses and they tell us, well, do you know how long the RV is and do you know how much it weighs? I'm like, yeah, let me just pull that 
out of somewhere. No, I have no idea. Yeah. What? You don't know? <laughs> I, no earthly idea. So, um, which it ended up being okay. I did not have to weigh the RV because there were there was an ice cream mm -hmm. shop. It was different people all together, but they watched us trying to get into the parking lot and they said, oh, we can move our pickup and you can just park right here. We're not even open so tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they just let us park there and not even go over the bridge. He had even, weren't they watching some of our earlier live yeah. shots with Jamie? Because he had even <laughs> said, you want some ice cream from all the, from all the pies that you got from mm -hmm. DeVito's because yeah. you had mentioned it at five o'clock saying, yeah. But we have all these pies in the RV yep. that, that Joe DeVito left us. So then this cute little couple with the ice cream shop was like, do you want some ice cream for those pies? And we're like, did we just talk about that? Or they were like, no, we saw <laughs> you. Right they were watching yeah. at five. So, so super cool. sweet This brings of them. us back to the people of the Ozarks and how yeah. everywhere we go, everybody yes. was so giving and so mm -hmm. friendly and so welcoming. And that's why I love this place, you know? No, yeah. it's so true. We met so many great people mm -hmm. at every stop that were just kind enough to just mm -hmm. stop and say hi. You know? And so help like, us when yeah. we were in trouble. <laughs> Which was a lot. So we ended our day in Eureka Springs, and then we were up bright and early for daybreak because we had to cross back over the border <laughs> from Arkansas <laughs> to Missouri, and we started the next day at Roaring River State Park in Cassville, which was gorgeous, lots of fog there that morning, um, but we was, you know, mad dash for that six o'clock live hit per usual, running out of the RV right at six, and we met with some park rangers and, and the managers of all of our state parks mm -hmm. to tell us about Roaring River, and we did more trout fishing. <laughs> I'm not doing this right. Is that look? Does it was it weird? It, it's. Oh wait, I'm doing video. <laughs> <laughs> I already have it. The next stop was the smallest wedding chapel in the world, right? Yes, and that, I think it was in Mount Vernon. In Mount Vernon. Vernon. Uh, just outside of Mount Vernon, mm -hmm. yeah, yes. I think so. Shepherd's Field? Shepherd's Field, yes. yeah. And so we pull Four up and it's uh, eight. It's about right? as small as you would think it is. Yeah. yeah. We could fit, and that's about it. They had <laughs> four chairs for your guests, mm -hmm. and four just seats. enough room for your preacher and your bride and groom. That was one of my was favorite it? stops. It really was. <laughs> I just thought that was so much fun <laughs> to stop cool. and go into and look at it. And they're so welcoming. They just oh, you yeah. can just walk right in and take a look oh. at it. Yeah, you know, that's yeah, adorable. Yeah, after the wedding chapel, we split up for time purposes, mm -hmm. and um, a couple of us ran over to Stockton Lake and just went down on the boat dock and we, we literally walked in to the restaurant. It wasn't open, the lights weren't on, but I knocked anyway. And it was and unlocked. I'm so Joy Robertson, open up the door. I'm coming in, whether you like it or not. But the, but the lady who was there, the owner was just like, come on in. She did a quick little video with us. It was super fun. We got to take a look around and it was another one of those charming little places where you think, mm -hmm. I wish we had more time to sit here and eat a big cheeseburger or drink a beer well, or something. And Stockton you know? Lake is just such a quiet, peaceful, beautiful place, and it's not overrun. And so a lot of friends I have that have sailboats, that's where they take their sailboats. Oh, because yeah. Because it's just Cute. peaceful compared to some of the other lakes in the area. Yeah. So, it was fun. Yeah. That was a good stop. Yeah, it was pretty. Oh, I think where we ended up on Thursday was one of all of our favorite stops in Greenfield. Mm. Oh, oh. The, the Opera House. That yes. was amazing. That was just amazing. To, to meet... The owner of that building who B. has done all of B, that's right, who has yeah. done all of that work to refurbish mm -hmm. that um, and keep the history while he's doing story. it. Yeah, yeah. he told yeah. so many stories there. and all the people, and there were signatures all over the wall of all these people through the years that have performed like 1800s. there. Like eighteen hundreds. Yes, eighteen yeah. hundreds. I know a lot of the a lot of the furniture, you know, the theater seats and yeah. the lights were all actual relics from the eighteen hundreds. Like some of the lights right over the stage were kerosene mm -hmm. lights mm -hmm. before there was even <laughs> electricity. Yeah. Um, and he said he had what was over three hundred of the four hundred chairs that he had were originals he from had the 1800s. Like 380, it was yeah. something crazy. He had the majority of them. To accomplish our live shots, particularly for Ozarks Live, mm -hmm. we couldn't all make it to Osceola Cheese, right. which I'm still sad that I did not get to make that stop. Mm -hmm. yes. But we split off and you and I went to Southwest SBU Baptist and Baptist University, yeah. yes, which is my alma mater for my undergrad and for my master's degree. And so, and I was a cheerleader there. I just have so many wonderful memories, you know. And one of my 
my old professors came out with a couple of pictures. I guess he took, I don't remember this, but I guess he took <laughs> pictures of all of his classes through the years because he said he searched through them and he found two pictures. And I had him in two different classes, botany and something else. He was actually also my advisor that I completely forgot about until after we left there. You know, so he brings out these pictures of from the... 90s and there we were all dressed like the 90s. I was gonna say, yeah, of course Cammy looks the exact same, but you did have on a plaid shirt, big hair, and some high-waisted jeans. <laughs> yeah, you were rocking yeah. the 90s look. That was Osceola cheese. I'm jealous. It was delicious. It was good. Yeah. <laughs> they have oh, I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but it was what was it over it was hundreds of different types of cheeses. I want to say close to 300. Yeah, oh, yeah. two or three goodness. different types of cheeses and they also had like popcorns and dressing Old, we tried what too. blueberry cheese, which I was like, anybody who knows me knows I'm a little bit of a picky eater and things like that. We're just kind of like, hmm, do I mm -hmm. really gonna try this blueberry cheese? But we did, and it was actually really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. they good. I was kidding, that's gonna burn your mouth off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't try the ghost pepper cheese though. No. Mm. It, it was, was good too, and it was actually not like burn your mouth off. No. Because I think the dairy counteracts it, you know, mm. so it was good. Yeah, probably. It's like yeah. you're getting a shot of milk. Right. So, um, yeah, we ended the day in Stratford, and that was special for me because my great grandmother, who's my nana, is what we call her in my family, lived in Stratford for more than 80 years, and she would have been 100 years old this year. So, we met up with some people who remembered her and um, mm -hmm. just kind of caught up with them and talked about, you know, the hometown feeling and the closeness of Stratford and communities like that. Mm -hmm. So, that was really sweet. We that ended up special. at a hair shop, a salon that was right next door to where she lived. So. This is the last day we had to get up at like 4 a.m. I got up at 3.30 I live a lot ways from the station. <laughs> Gosh, I think I set my alarm for 3.45. <laughs> no, 4.45. Well, no, we had to be there. No, we had to be there at 4.45. We don't even know, and that was just like just an hour ago. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah. So Friday morning, we started off at the historic Y Bridge in Galena, which once again was a beautiful way to start the day. Do you remember that sunrise? Oh, oh yes. stunning. Over the James River? Stunning. That's one of the best pictures I got of the I've whole trip, I think. I've never heard of this, this place before. Me yeah. neither. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. It's it's a long walk to get over there, mm -hmm. and but it's absolutely worth it. We saw the guy fishing. He came by with his fishing pole. And then... Thinking about that this morning, I was like, you know, those old makes and models and beautiful, intricate cars that we saw may have traveled this path um, as they were exploring the Ozarks in Route 66. So I want to show you guys how much fun we had at the museum. About two minutes. I don't know if I will or not, but maybe. Is that the popo? Uh oh. I think, gonna walk into I think we're in trouble. He's <laughs> coming in hot. Stone County is happening right here. Have you got a permit to be out here? You know, people in blue. What's going on? I want answers. I need to know right now. Come on, somebody talk. What's going on? We have, she did uh, it. We have a situation oh, on our hands here at the Y Bridge. What is going on? You. Me? Yeah, you. What did I do? What did you not do? Have you oh, got no. a permit to be out here filming? We got to have permits. You know, you're right here in Galena. You got to have all the paperwork. I'm so sorry. Stuff. I bet you are. I just, I just uh. bet you are. You guys, you need to nip it, nip it in the bud. I'm, I'm in so much trouble with Barney Five. I don't know what I did. We must have double parked the RV. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You got two, two counter right there. Some is right there on it. Oh, you're in big trouble. Well, oh, I'm mad now. Oh, oh man. Oh all boy. Pretty, <laughs> oh boy. You guys, James. I need you over here to help get me out of this. You got to get back over there, Lisa. Something out. Yeah, um, are you all the girlfriends? Yeah, we're the girlfriends. You're doing the getaway. We're doing the getaway. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh, this is exciting. Do you want to come with us? If you, if you don't if you don't write me a ticket 
Will, will, will I be on TV and everything? I, I think so. Yeah, I've never been on TV before. <laughs> I don't believe that. Oh, it's a curse. They think I'm, you know, Cary Grant sometimes. Okay, I, I think we're going to work out a deal oh, here. Well, I think that's what's going to happen. Lauren, that is the way to get out of the ticket. ticket or two. Oh, yeah. Lauren, that is a smart move right there, all right? Oh, work it while you got it. I don't know. I don't know, but I guess I guess we're going somewhere. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, and you're in for a day with this one. I just mean it, all right? <laughs> oh boy! All right, we'll check I don't know. back. I, I gotta go get myself out of this. All right, okay, good okay. luck. Good luck, guys. Bye. Oh. <laughs> What's gonna happen oh, here? Oh boy! The last day, of course. You can't not have drama oh, on still... the last day. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right, boy. we'll check back in in a bit. We're gonna have to. Lauren, I hope you're all right. Oh all right. I'll text her or something. All right. She did you know, it. Just regularly come out. She did it. It's her fault. And I saw him, and I said that bridge was long. You saw it. Oh yeah. I, I didn't hear the <laughs> he was whole booking way, it. booking <laughs> it down there, swinging his arms, and I thought, oh, uh -oh. I See, think I know look who on our his face. Guest driver is. <laughs> And he did not slow down. No. He just came right on in there right and handled the it shot. beautifully. But oh, well, well, he was great so fun. Funny. Yeah, and then we had him for the rest of the day, which was a treat, too. So he was. took us to Silver Dollar City, where he actually works there, too, and introduced us to June Ward, who was one of my favorite people all week. Oh, Miss She's like June. our grandmother now. The chocolate factory was amazing. Yes. Yeah. It was. She I could have dipped those strawberries yeah, all day. Put us to work a little bit, you know. I yes. dipped some cookie butter. I dipped a lot of strawberries. I found it strangely therapeutic and relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you know, I'm not one to sit and do the same thing all day, but I can do this all day long. You know? It's nice when you have like a huge bucket of melted chocolate. Yeah. It's, it's a good it's place to be. Yeah, doing it at home, no doubt. They yeah. have it down pat. Mm -hmm. And June was just sweet as could be. She knew the whole t Color Ten crew. She said David Oliver's kids are her niece and nephew. Aww. She was asking about Jamie Warner, our chief me meteorologist. Um, who else was she asking about? She was giving you a hard time about Tom. Everybody, everybody. <laughs> everyone does that. <laughs> she knows all the secrets. She knows all the people. She knows where all the bodies are buried. Miss <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> Amazing. Everybody loves her. And and then I think we had a bit of a candy challenge next door in the store. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flip of a coin. Yeah. Flip of a candy coin. Uh -huh. Kaylee said, what was it? I don't remember. Heads or tails, you had to fit the whole chocolate in your mouth. Heads, more sure. dumps that all in my mouth. Tails, I walk away. We gotta get. We gotta, we gotta get. Yeah, we gotta get. <laughs> what is it? What? Is it? Um, what? Heads, no! <laughs> Either way, I was a winner. So. I started saying, <laughs> does it matter if you ate it all? No. She thought about that beforehand. She's like, this is really a win-win situation. It's a beautiful RV. I'm having a good time, you know, riding that thing, you know. But you open it up that door, and boom, the girls were just gone. And I, I, they're just gone like that. I, I, I'm really kind of worried here, you know. I'm a little worried myself because I can't really imagine what they'd want to get away from. Yeah, I wonder, you know. Hidden Waters Park, which is a teeny tiny pretty little park right in the mm -hmm. middle of Marshfield. Hadn't been there either. A stream running through it. And then we went to the town square mm -hmm. to see the Hubble telescope. Mm -hmm. I'm mad I missed this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This, I, to, to tell me about it. Is this the original? It is a, it replica. a replica. A replica. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. But it that's is a replica. where the band is from, scale, right? Scale right? It's from yes. Marshfield. Yeah. So there's a lot of history in this little bitty town. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Because, well, yeah, they, we, you know, like I said, in, in meetings beforehand when we were planning all of this stuff, that was on the list. And I was like, whoa. We have this here? Yeah. Cool science. You'll, You'll have, have to drive over there and see I gotta it. go now. It's yeah. just sitting right there where you can see it. So it was really fun. We did that. And we were um, toying with seeing if maybe we could get Terry arrested <laughs> at that point. <laughs> because there were, there were cars, police cars and what have you, yeah. all, all around the square. And I thought, wouldn't that be great if we taste could get, of his own medicine. To get Terry a little taste of his own medicine, get him arrested for a little while. But uh, for, they didn't, I don't think they were up to playing our games that day. So. Are you coming to me with that camera again? Get out of my face with the camera. OK, can I just be honest for a minute? The girlfriend getaway has been great, and I love them, but all I want to do is get away from these girlfriends. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> oh my God.
That is so oh, cool. Oh, oh, this is what we had talked about doing the whole time and never got done, huh? This will jog our memories oh, a little bit. Oh, Let's so see. Sweet. Yeah, McDonald's gave lights. us this adorable little Polaroid camera, which we used, and two whole things of film. And so we took a bunch of pictures, and here they are. These are so oh, sweet. That's awesome. I love these little lights. We've got to put this up in the green room. Yes, right? perfect the for the green room. Fun. Too bad we didn't get it in the RV. Um, yeah, there's Chico. Super sweet. I think this really goes to show all of the really cool places that we've been. You know, so we come back, you know, Thursday, Friday, we're all trickling back into the newsroom, and everybody's like, "How was it? How was it? It looks great on TV. Are you guys exhausted? How was everything?" And I gotta say, it was so cool to see so many neat places across the Ozarks, you know, like in places, yeah. you know, that some of us have, you know, I have never been to a lot of these places, you know, so it was really cool to see and do lots of really cool, interesting things and all of these, you know, towns and counties that sometimes we don't get to visit or, you know, don't get to cover a lot. Oh yeah. Meeting lots of the viewers um, was incredible. Learning so much, science and hydrology, we learned about how to make food and trout and fishing, you know, we just learned so much and did so much. It, I would definitely do it again. But you're right, it really was the people. I remember the end of the first day, we ended up in Lebanon at the uh, Route 66 Museum there, and that was one of the first viewers that we met. We met some that morning, but then we met a little girl that day too at the museum, and she came up, ran up as we were doing our live shot and gave me a hug, and was like, I wanna do this when I get older, and it was just like, it was like the end of a, what was going to be a very long uh, week. It was like the end of the first day, and so we, I think, you know, we're all feeling a little bit like just exhausted, you know, excited but exhausted, and that just made it all worth it. So that was great to meet everyone. But yeah, Tony and Jeremiah and Dave were fabulous. Huge help. Yeah, really. We wouldn't have help. been able to do any of this without them. No. At all. Okay, so this has been Girlfriend Getaway Ladies Tell All. One Girlfriends no. Tell All. Almost all. Right. <laughs> That's it. We gotta stop it somewhere because we can't let all our secrets out. So I guess we should say goodbye. Until next time. Yeah. Until next time.